Hey guys. Look at that in that, sync. <laughs> that was good, that was good. Okay, so we're here with Kim Morrison. Kim has qualified for the Kona World Championship, so she's a pretty big deal. Um, haven't done it alone. Oh, I come not on, done it alone. come on. Um, so Kim is gonna talk through her top three tips for people getting into triathlon, which we're quite looking forward to because she's brought lots of little props and stuff to demonstrate how good she is. Um, <laughs> but Kim's gonna introduce herself. She can probably do a better job than I yeah. can. So <laughs> let Kim tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Kimberly Morrison. I am local to these guys. I live in North Norfolk with my Alaska Malamute Suka and my oh, husband. So, <laughs> so Amazing training partner. Anyway, um, <laughs> so a little intro about me. I started triathlon, did a little super sprint swimming pool triathlon in 2012. Became European age group champion. Kept the bib. Oh, in Hold it up. Kitzbühel, Austria. Mental. In 2014. And that propelled great ambition. I went on and got myself a triathlon coach and started racing pro a couple years later. And actually my first pro race was in Argentina. It was the inaugural Ironman 70.3 Buenos Aires, which unbelievably I went on to win, which really? was crazy. <laughs> um, and I haven't looked back since. And here I am, what, three years later, Preparing to go to the Big Island, Kona, Hawaii, to line up against the best in the world. I can't believe it. It's going to be awesome. It's mental. Crazy. <laughs> it's such an awesome like, story to have. Definitely. That's so cool. So you're, you're super excited, I can tell. Super excited. <laughs> but like I say, I haven't got here on my own. No, no, no. But, no, that's pretty cool. Kind of speechless. <laughs> like we're in awe. We're like fanboys, definitely. <laughs> cool. What else have you got to show? You bought loads of stuff, didn't you? My top tips or more content from here? Well, I've got to show you show the. Pro I'm I'm just excited to see what you've got, really. <laughs> so and then what are your top tips? I was super excited about this. I race the London Triathlon every year since I got into triathlon. It's the most participated triathlon in the world. I've done that one. Crazy amount of people was, do That it. was my first one, but I didn't win it. No, <laughs> me <laughs> neither. And I went back four times. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do it again. It was awful. That's such an awful day. Which one did you do, the sprint or the Olympic? Olympic. Straight in for the Olympic. It was good until I got on the run. And it was really hot. Oh. That horrible hill at the end. Yeah. This was cool. I'm not sure if you can notice, but that is me there on my bike. And I just felt my first claim to fame when I um, picked cool. this up. I thought, wow, made it, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. No, that's so cool. A charity so close to my heart, Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital. I'm cool. continually, um, when I'm fortunate enough to be invited to, going into schools and Sorry, I'm off <laughs> uh, going into schools and chatting about my journey from Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital to now a professional triathlete. Um, yeah, continually raising money for these guys too. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Local to home, Norfolk Sports Awards. What? They do such a great job here that I feel like I'm and everyone around me is on Sports Personality of the Year. It's our version, it's Norfolk's version. And last year I was fortunate enough to win. Way. And that felt amazing. Love that. That was pretty cool. Let's bring your trophies in there. <laughs> oh, you've got loads of stuff. That's Going so back, way back, to when I was first inspired by local girl Chrissy Wellington. Yeah. David Archant ran a newspaper article and this is pretty cool. I got it laminated and I shared it amongst friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> it was a holiday read, A Life Without Limits by Chrissy Wellington that really inspired me and which started my Kona dream, to be honest. Um, but I had to start short, so I did start with the sprint and Olympic distance triathlon, but as soon as Ironman took hold, that was it. wow, this was the goal. That was it, that was it. <laughs> 
So I love looking no, back on this. Back. Especially think? since Chrissy won it, what, four in a row? Yeah. Four yeah. in a row, actually. Machine. I actually met her at the book signing. She oh, signed wow. she signed my book. Oh amazing. Yeah. yeah. What did she say? Uh what in the signing? Yeah. She didn't say much. I was pretty shocked <laughs> to meet her actually. <laughs> so I queued up for half an hour. I was just expecting to buy the book and I'd been to a um like a talk that Chrissy had done and she said she had to rush off for her mum's birthday. And I was still in the queue getting really nervous and I was thinking, come on, all these cool things I could say to her. And I just said, nice to meet you, have a nice time at your mum's birthday. And that was it. And she looked at me like I was a complete weirdo. So um, when I meet her again, I'll take my book and yeah, tell the story. That'll be fine. But yeah, she's a legend. So She is. All from Norfolk. Yeah. Pretty cool. We're all so, from Norfolk. at the risk of getting completely <laughs> sidetracked, um, Kim is going to give us her three top tips for beginners. Um, so you guys are wanting to get involved in triathlon. So Kim, over to you. Firstly, enjoyment. Oh, tip number one. <laughs> tip number one. Lauren, Lauren, do number one. Yay. <laughs> enjoyment. Gotta enjoy it. You've yeah. got to get into it for the right reasons to enjoy it. Because, wow, it's so overwhelming. These guys do a great job. With what they provide because there's so much information out there it Thanks. can be Thanks. so overwhelming <laughs> so oh, keep it simple and enjoy it. it takes me on to point two oh okay lauren two <laughs> two number two surround yourself with others build a team because like i've said like i haven't got to kona on my own no one no one enjoys triathlon on their own it really is about Finding out who your local tri team are, getting involved with them, sportives, like I've said, time trials, all these local events. Enjoy it with others because you're going to achieve way more if you've got people supporting around you. Definitely. Point three. Oh, I know you even did it. Number three. <laughs> Point three is me needing to go back to my notes. Oh, uh, okay, <laughs> here we go. Wow. Is it to pull something else out exciting? Almost. Sorry, it, secret weapon, uh, secret weapon. It's more, <clears throat> my top tip for getting into triathlon is more thinking about your motivation and your purpose. So for me, what's really kept me going is I'm certainly ambitious, but really having that focus of why I first started doing it. I first started doing it and I had Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital in my mind. So if there is a charity that is close to your heart, then certainly use that to motivate you in your triathlon challenges and ultimately your triathlon successes. Cool. Good at three top tips. Three top tips. Cool. From That's a top good. triathlete. Enjoy. Fun. Yeah, enjoy it. Surround yourself with a team. Yeah. And have that motivation, <laughs> have that focus. We haven't practiced this. This is just all coming naturally. We're good at this. Awesome. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much, Kim. Good luck in Kona. Thank you for having um, me. We're, well, we'll, all, we'll all track it, won't we? Yeah, we'll be tracking, we'll be watching. We'll be up early. Supporting. We'll yeah, we'll get our Kim t-shirts. <laughs> I'll try and get somewhere in no, the race no, where no. I have the opportunity to wave. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. At some point, we'll look out for the wave. Wicked. Uh, All right, guys. Well, you heard it from Kim. We don't need to add any more to that because it was perfect. So we will see you um, see very you soon. Later. Yeah, take care, guys. Bye. Bye.